Hey, it's Janice. I'm here to talk to you today about spoon rests. Now these are great items to have in the kitchen. Everybody needs at least a couple because when you're cooking you've got to have somewhere to put your dirty spoons, right? You don't want to just throw them on the counter or put them on a paper towel. That's just wasteful. Now the other thing about spoon rests is they make really good presents. So holidays, birthdays, thank you gifts, they always go over well. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make them today, and let's go ahead and get started. Moisten the bat, pop the clay down. The clay I'm using is, this is a white stoneware. Push it down to the bat, cone up. Push back down. I want to center it fairly low because it's kind of like a little plate. So we can get that pretty low. And now, just going to press in. I'm going to make this one thick enough that I can trim it. So I'm not going to press in too far. Keep it wet. Do a little compression here. Run back and forth through here a few times. Get it flattened out. Slow down a little bit. Ourselves a nice room. You definitely want to pay attention to this inner surface, keep it nice and flat. Because that's what you're going to be looking at. You want it to be easy to clean and pretty when you're using it. I like to put a little swirl in mine. Give that a nice rounded edge there. So I'm going to slow down. I'm going to press down in the center and slowly move out. I have a nice little swirl. Very aesthetically pleasing. Just move it out with my sponge. Now I'm going to do a little undercut on the bottom. I'm going to use a wood knife for that. smoothing with my chamois. I'm not really worried about that little stutter I put in. First of all, I'm going to trim the bottom. But now comes the part where this little plate becomes a spoon rest. So we'll go ahead and cut it off the bat. Clean up a little bit. Stick my fingers under the edge, pop it up, get my hands under there, and I'll move it over to another bat. I've cleaned my hands off, so here we go. Just lift up, get your hand under there, move it over. So it's maintained its shape pretty well. 
but because I touched it over here and there are a couple little finger marks, I'm going to make that the indention for the spoon. So to do that, I'm going to support and press down. And you can give that a little tweak to really make it more defined. And there you go. Another spoon rest. Now tomorrow I'll probably go ahead and trim this. But it would work even as is. Welcome back everybody. I'm going to go ahead and trim this spoon rest that I made yesterday. I'm going to use a standard trimming tool that comes with any pottery set. Now I already put it on the wheel, centered it, I'm using a Giffen grip, but you could use lugs of clay. Also I looked at how thick it is, so I've already got an idea of how deep I want to make the foot, and I checked out the overall shape and put a little bit of thought into how I might want the shape to match the contours of the pot. So it's pretty dry, because I kind of left it out a little bit long yesterday, and I apologize for the noise here. So it's the wheel is very quiet, but this giffen grip kind of hums. That's okay. A little bit awkward trimming these super low pieces on the Giffen grip, but it's okay. I've got my wet sponge here. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to get this a little bit more wet. Okay. That's where I put the indention for the spoon handle to hang out of. That's this guy right here that's making that little hop. So basically, just smooth this out a little bit. Good. 
there you have it. A little spoon rest with a nice little foot. I'll put my stamp on there and call it done.